Noel McGrath here for SevereMMA.com alongside Joseph Duffy uh, ahead of his fight this weekend against Reza Madadi. Paddy's weekends, Joseph, London, how do you feel about that? Amazing, amazing. It's, um, I'm always excited for this weekend anyway because it's normally the England-Ireland game in the rugby anyway. Um, there's always good stuff on this weekend, so, you know, but obviously fighting here in London, I've never been to O2. Um, you know, lots of people travelling, so I'm excited. Definitely, yeah. I, I believe yeah, you've just had a new arrival in the family as well that you, you haven't seen, so that's obviously very exciting too. Yeah, definitely. Um, my brother, brother had a wee girl now as well, so that's two nieces in the last, I think, it's six eight months. So, so um, I'm excited to get the fight done, and then I'll be down to down to see the family and, and see my wee nieces. Joe, question I have to ask you. Obviously, has there been any updates on your contract situation with the UFC in the last couple of months or weeks? Um, as far as I know, no. I think it, it's all, you know, it's all still the same. I think um, we'll be back in talks once once the fight's over. Obviously, um, you know, we'll, we'll go from there. What's the feeling been like? Obviously, I know you wanted to fight a lot sooner. Um, even you know, UFC Belfast, that didn't get done. Has it been frustration? Um, it was fr frustration at the start because, you know, as a fighter, you want to fight, especially like my last fight went well you know I, I, no injuries so I wanted to keep active and um, but it's no big deal you know I'm always training I feel like in the time like I'm always improving so as long as I'm moving forward that's the main thing you know if if it goes fight to fight and I'm, I'm sitting down I'm doing nothing I'm not moving forward then that would be a mistake I feel you know especially how fast the game's progressing so you know th that extra time just means I'm going to be ready for you know even more guys, you know, the higher higher level guys, I'd be ready for them. Do you feel as though, you know, all greatest respect to Reza, do you feel as though maybe you deserved or warranted maybe a higher ranked opponent in this fight? No. No, um, you know, I think, like, obviously Reza's got a win over, you know, Michael Johnson. Um, you know, he had a good win this last out in, you know, he's a very tough opponent. I think he, he's one of the opponents that's underrated, really. Um, he, he can beat anyone in this night, so... You know, I definitely, definitely don't feel that way. I think, uh, I think it's a great fight. He's someone, someone I was watching years ago. I remember on the European scene. I think his name got mentioned, and, and I was checking him out. I think maybe it was Ian Dean that mentioned him, and um, I was watching footage. I think it was him and Rich Clemente, and you know, I remember being impressed back then. So, what's it been like? He looks a lot calmer than he normally is. Normally, he's in your face. We saw the, the stare down a few minutes ago. Has, has there been any issues around the hotel? We've seen sort of him kick off at Norman Park in the past before. No, no, nothing. Um, I haven't really seen him a great deal around the hotel, um, but ain't gonna be no issues, you know. We're like we're we're gonna fight on Saturday night, you know. The the other stuff doesn't really matter to me. Like, like it's all about the fight. You mentioned to me a few weeks ago, Joe, and we spoke that there's a bigger maybe chip on your shoulder than ever before going into this fight. Is that the case still? Yeah, yeah, that's it. Like I, feel, I always feel like I got something to prove. I feel. Um, you know, especially after the Dustin fight, that that's you know, you, I use that to draw um, motivation from. Um, you know, and, and this fight with with the other stuff going on as well. You know, obviously I want to go in there and I want to I want to perform the best of my ability. Just a couple more from me. Um, you know, I want to get your thoughts on the division as a whole, the lightweight division. You know, this. You know, there's been a lot of missed weight recently. It, it seems static sort of at the top of the division. We don't know what Mr. McGregor's doing. You know, you being a f former pro boxer. I just want to get your thoughts on, on the division maybe stagnating at the top a little bit. A few people say that, but yeah, I don't think it changes much now. I think um, I think the rankings are kind of lost their meanings a little bit because obviously, you know, there's people leapfrogging the divisions. Um, you know, if you can come up with division, leapfrog to the title, this type of thing, um, I think, I think they kind of lose their meanings a little bit. Um, but in terms of the division, like, it's still probably the most exciting division in in the UFC. You know, all the fights that to be made. Obviously, you know, it was unfortunate with, with Khabib and, and Tony Ferguson the other day, um, but that's still a great fight. You know, I know, I know from a fan's point of view, I'm excited to watch that fight. Um, and there's many more, like uh, um, Barboza and Darius the other day was a great fight, um, incredible finish. You know, there's lots of exciting fights to be made in the lightweight division. Big win for Joseph Duffy on, on Saturday, and uh, will we get a result against the English in, in Lansdowne Road as well? You've been a big rugby fan. I hope so. I hope so. I think, um, obviously, 
you know, a lot of errors last week against Wales. Um, I think if they cut out the errors, they can do it. You know, they can do it. But England's playing well, and they're looking for the Grand Slam. So obviously, they're going to be they're going to be coming out like like their life depends on it. But I got a good feeling. I think uh, I think Ireland might do it. A finish for Joe Duffy. Uh, a bit of food for thought for the UFC brass on uh, on Saturday night to sign you up. Um, obviously, every fight you want to finish. Um, but. As long as I get the win, that's all. That's all that matters. That's what I trained for. I trained to make sure I get that W, and you know the rest will take care of itself. Always a pleasure, Mr. Duffy. Look forward to the fight on Saturday. Thanks.